Christmas, the other railway sends a Christmas tree to Sodor. Each year, it stands on the platform at Titna Station, and people sing carols round it, and the towel band plays. A week before Christmas, Thomas was at the station with Annie and Clarabelle. The fat controller was arranging the carol party. You'll all have jobs to do, he said. Thomas, I want you to fetch the tree. Gordon will bring the mare, and Henry will be in charge of cards, letters, and parcels. Will we be able to join in the carols too? asked Thomas. We'll see, promised the fat controller. <sighs> it would be nice to sing carols again, sighed Thomas. Two days before Christmas, the fat controller came to see Thomas. It's time for you to fetch the tree, Thomas, he said. Doc can look after Annie and Clarabelle until you get back. Why should Tots go? grumbled Henry. He can't do anything a splendid green engine like me couldn't do. Nor me, agreed Gordon. Anyone would think he was special or something. Thomas puffed happily away. The other engines waited for Thomas to come back. They waited and waited. The next morning, they were still waiting. Perhaps he's stuck in a tunnel somewhere, suggested Gordon. Henry let off steam indignantly, he retorted. He's much more likely to be interned onto a branch line. It could have run into a cow, suggested Donald. He has done nothing of the kind interrupted the well-known voice. There has been a heavy snowfall, and he seems to be stranded somewhere near Edward Station, said the fact controller. We're not going to leave him, are we? asked Douglas. Certainly not, replied the fact controller. I shall need two volunteers. The noise was deafening! At once, Donald and Douglas were coupled back to back, with a van between them and a snowplow at each end. Cold but confident, they set out to the rescue. At the junction, they met Toby, Percy and Duck, who told them that the Fat Control had cancelled all trains and ordered all engines that could to try to reach Tidmouth. Donald and Douglas puffed bravely on. But the snow was getting thicker now. They struggled through Edward Station. Donald wanted to stop for a rest, but Douglas wouldn't let him. What if Thomas is lying hurt somewhere? He said. Great drifts of snow lay across Gordon's Hill. Again and again they forced the snowplow into the snow, each time moving slowly forward. Then they drew back and paused for breath. Mm. Hush, said Douglas suddenly. I can hear something. Very faintly came a muffled cry for help. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's Thomas, exclaimed Donald. Told you so, said Douglas. Come on, let's get him out. He must be frozen to his flames in there. Before long, Edward and James arrived with more help. The men clambered down to their van and set to work. Thomas was soon clear. Edward and James pulled Thomas and the precious Christmas tree back to a crossover, and Donald and Douglas helped him back to Tidmouth along the line they had already cleared. When they all reached Tidmouth, the waiting engines cheered. 
The Christmas tree was quickly unloaded, put into its tub and decorated just before people began to crowd into the station. As a reward for all your hard work, you may stay and enjoy the carols, the Fat Controller announced. James was so pleased that he had a little steam suddenly. The Fat Controller paused. But remember, he went on, this is a special occasion. Beyond your best behaviour, and I want no, uh, wishing, please. James blushed and looked at his buffers. Next. One, two, three! Boom, the fat controller. And suddenly, like magic, the station was flooded with light. Three cheers for Thomas the Tank Engine and his friends! As the cheers died away, there was a strange whirring noise. It seemed to come from the sky. Everyone looked up, and Percy and Toby smiled. They knew who it was. With landing lights shining brightly, Harold the helicopter touched down gently in the snow. And out stepped a figure wearing a red cloak and hood. Everyone cheered as Father Christmas gave out presents to the children and the carol party began. Then, Father Christmas thanked James and the other engines for rescuing Thomas, and everyone had a marvellous time. Afterwards, Thomas and Percy went back to the shed together. It's no fun getting stuck in the snow, whispered Thomas. But it was worth it for that party. Happy Christmas, everyone.